Would everyone please stand and join me in the presentation of colors by the University of Cincinnati ROTC Pershing Rifles. And remain standing while the Coring High School Concert Choir sings the national anthem and alma mater. Honored guests, parents, faculty, friends, and graduates, welcome to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2015. Please be seated.
Thank you. At this time, I need to modify and deviate from our scheduled program because one of our students has become ill. And so we would like for him to receive his diploma. And so at this time, we are going to call up our student. And once he receives his diploma, that would be an appropriate time to applaud. At this time, I'd like to declare Gerard Raymond Schmeling as a graduate of Coleraine High School. Thank you. We will now continue with our program. Coming into this class this senior year was an adventure, to say the least. I would like to sum up our year together with the introduction of Charles Dickens' novel, The Tale of Two Cities. It was the best of times. Seniors, it was the worst of times. While we all felt our growing pains, we had some very positive experiences and memories that will truly last us a lifetime. Seniors, Remember when I said that this night is not for you. It's for your family who have supported you along this journey. So at this time, seniors, I would like for you to stand and applaud your parents, family, and friends for their support. Thank you. Seniors, I would like to think that I taught you a lot in our one year together. However, the opposite is true, as you have taught me so much. You taught me that being a cardinal means being proud, focused, and able to persevere and adapt even in the most uncomfortable situations. Through this, you reminded me how to be resilient and to stand in the face of adversity. The class of 2015 have faced challenges that many of us in this hall could never imagine, such as death of a family member or friend, poverty and homelessness, expulsion from school, and physical and cognitive disabilities. They overcame all of these challenges to sit before us today to be declared graduates of Coleraine High School. Class of 2015, you are special. Thank you for teaching me more than I ever taught you. Thank you for your support in my first year. I love you all, and we are united as Cardinals for life. Thank you. <laughs> Tonight, some of Coleraine's brightest and best students will be receiving their diploma. These students have represented Coleraine High School well, and even tonight, four students are currently representing Coleraine High School at the regional track meet. They plan to join us later this evening. This evening, the 30 summa cum laude is on this stage, and I will present the graduation program. I now invite several of our summas to introduce our honored guests. This evening, it is indeed our honor and privilege to introduce to you individuals who have dedicated their time and energy to make possible the excellent education we have received. Please hold your applause until all introductions are finished. Would the following individuals please stand when I call your name? President of the Board of Education, Mr. Dan Unger. Superintendent of Northwest Local Schools, Dr. Andrew Jackson. Principal of Coring High School, Dr. Crystalyn Turney, and Senior Class Principal, Mr. Robert Reynolds. And seated in the arena are Board of Education Vice President, Mr. Michael Harlow, and Board of Education members, Ms. Pam Detzel, Mr. Jim Detzel, and Dr. Christopher Heather.
We would also like to introduce members of the administrative staff from central office who are present tonight. They are CFO Treasurer Mrs. Amy Wells, Assistant Superintendent of Human Resources Ms. Tracy Ray, Assistant Director of Human Resources Dr. Stephanie Kessling, Director of Business Services Mr. Todd Bowling, Director of Curriculum Services Mrs. Jennifer Blust, Assistant Director of Curriculum and Special Education, Mr. Daryl Yader, Assistant Director for Curriculum and Intervention Services, Mr. Michael Holbrook, and Assistant Director for Community and Student Services, Mrs. Pauletta Crowley. Please join me in giving them a round of applause. Good evening. I would like to introduce to you the members of the administration team seated on the floor tonight. They are Freshman Class Administrator Mrs. Aaron Davis, Career Center Administrator Mr. George Sturgeon, Helping with Security in the Arena are Corrine High School staff members Mr. Craig Miller and Mr. Matt Stoinoff, as well as School Resource Officer Ms. Ashley Meyer. Our athletic director, Mr. Dan Bolden, is in the audience and celebrating his daughter's graduation. And with us in spirit is our sophomore assistant principal, Mr. Joe Bertram. Mr. Bertram continues his fight against cancer and will win thanks to your help and support. Please join me in a round of applause for the administration team. To my left are our counselors who have worked diligently with us for the last four years. They are here with us every day and have made our experience of Corrine High School a positive one. Please stand when I call your name. Ninth grade counselor, Mrs. Meredith Tillo. Ninth and 10th grade counselor, Mrs. Kim Bunn. 10th grade counselor, Mrs. Tiffany Hosley. 11th grade counselor, Mrs. Heather Schneider and 11th and 12th grade Butler Tech counselor, Mr. Ron Russo. And finally, if she will please stand and remain standing, is our 12th grade counselor, Mrs. Kelly Young. During our senior year at Coleraine, Mrs. Young has gone above and beyond to meet the needs of her students. She has answered countless questions about college, classes, and scholarships. She has worked many hours making sure our credits were in order and our college and scholarship applications processed. We wouldn't have been able to make it through this year without you. Thank you for everything you've done, Mrs. Schneider and Mrs. Young. If they would please stand, I would like to recognize our Student Senate Advisors, Mrs. Angie Long and Mrs. Emily Ritchie. On behalf of the senior class, thank you for all of your hard work this year. Your leadership with Homecoming, Relay for Life, and the student volunteers at the Ronald McDonald House has helped enrich our experience of senior year. And if she will stand and remain standing, I wish to recognize our senior class advisor, Mrs. Carrie Vaughn. Over these past four years, Mrs. Vaughn has spent hundreds of hours helping organize and lead us to ensure that our high school experience was successful and truly unique. You have made an impact on the class of 2015 and your hard work and dedication has allowed the senior class to make every moment from luncheons to assemblies to prom memorable. Thank you for all you have done for us this year. Each year, members of the graduating class invite honored guests to attend this ceremony. These are teachers, friends, and family members who have made a difference in their lives and made this night possible. Would our honored guests please stand to be acknowledged? Please join me in a round of applause for all they have done for us. Earlier this week, on Memorial Day, our nation paused to remember those men and women who gave their lives in service to our country. Tonight, we wish to thank those present who dedicated a portion of their lives so that we might enjoy the freedom to gather here and celebrate with family and friends. Would all the veterans, 
present in the audience, please stand. Please join me in thanking them for their service to our country. Finally, I wish to introduce and thank the following individuals for their contributions to this evening. Our daisy chain organizers, Mrs. Stephanie Legg and Mrs. Erin Davis. Our administrative support staff, Mrs. Bonnie Bowling, Mrs. Kathy Maxwell, Mrs. Cheryl Merkel, and Mrs. Trudy Hart. Our music directors, Mrs. Angela Jackson, Mr. Glenn Greenwood, and Mr. David Smith and our choir directors, Mrs. Randy Parks and Mr. Michael Parks. And now our senior vocal ensemble will sing the senior farewell song, Already Home, by Andrew Lloyd Webber. At this time, we would like to recognize individuals and groups in the senior class for their leadership and their achievements. This year's class officers and committee chairs have been exemplary in their leadership and organizing activities such as pause for a cause, prom, and graduation. Will the senior class president, Brittany Hayes, and the 2015 class officers please stand and be recognized for all your dedication and leadership.
would also like to recognize the 2015 prom chairman, Annie Clark, Pam McDermott, Sam McDaniel, and Stephanie Lutz for organizing such a memorable evening at the Newport Aquarium. And as always, a special thank you to the members of the Coleraine PTA for organizing and sponsoring a fun-filled after prom. Also, will graduation committee chairs Emily Schneider and Kim Estenson and the student members of the graduation committee please stand. Special thanks to you for your hard work that has made tonight possible. I would like for the Student Senate Executive Board, President Ryan Mulvaney, and the board members to stand. This year, the members of the Student Senate or organized homecoming, volunteered at the Ronald McDonald House, helped with Relay for Life, and many other activities. Thank you for the leadership you display and your commitment to Corian High School. I want to present the Daisy Chain members who escorted the seniors into the arena. Their names are listed in your program. Will the Daisy Chain ladies please stand? It is also my pleasure to introduce the Herf Jones Students of the Year for 2015. These two seniors are known for their leadership, spirit, pride, talents, intel and intelligence as the best all-around male and female student at CHS. This year, the Herf Jones Students of the Year are Devin Anderson and Ryan Mulvaney. At this time, I am proud to recognize the members of the Elite 32 21 30 Club. The criteria for membership are earning a 32 or higher on the ACT and a 21 30 or higher on the SAT. Students who qualify for this honor have scored in the 99th percentile nationally on both of these college entrance exams. The following students are members of the 32 21 30 Club and are wearing white cords this evening. Please stand as your name is called. Aaron Bamberger, Aaron Flagg, Brandon Gilbert, Naomi Hampton, Alexander Hagke, Zachary Hollinger, Trisha Ludicky, Bailey McConnell, Coyote Miners Rios, Christopher Ryu, Noah Tietzort, and Henry Wessels. To obtain an honors diploma, students must meet strict coursework requirements. Will the 121 students who have earned an honors diploma please stand and be recognized at this time? This year, over 150 members of the class of 2015 participated in a two-year career and technical education program through Butler Tech. Their teachers were asked to choose students of the year who represent the best in each field of study. When your name is called, please stand and remain standing. This year's Butler Tech students of the year are, in criminal justice, Taylor Brown. In commercial trucking, Chris Smith. In co-op business, Rebecca Rogers. In dental assisting, Manju Oli. In engineering, Tyler Sodigal. In health tech, Caitlin Beck. In precision machining, Michael Cardi. And our Natural Science Center salutatorian, Chelsea Davis. Finally, the National Technical Honor Society is an organization that celebrates outstanding career and technical students in over 3,800 schools in the United States. Will the 17 members of the NTHS stand and be recognized at this time?
the National Honor Society serves to acknowledge those students who have demonstrated excellence in the areas of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Many of the members of the National Honor Society present here tonight were inducted at the end of their junior year. This evening, we are wearing gold tassels. Will President Coyote Minus Rios and the 46 members of the National Honor Society please stand and receive our thanks for your leadership and service. Community service is very important to the students of Corian High School. Our students spend countless hours giving their time to help the community. This past year, the community service student of the year volunteered a total of 64 hours at Relay for Life, Ronald McDonald House, and nearly every event at CHS. Please join me in congratulating our community service student of the year, Bailey McConnell. Academic achievement is measured in many ways. Along with standardized testing and state assessments, the grades students earn each day in the classroom are an accurate and important measure of their commitment to scholastic excellence. Tonight, we honor those students who came prepared to work and earned high marks over the last four years. They are wearing gold stoles as recognition of their achievement. Will the 94 students who are cum laude with a grade point average of 4.5 to 5.24 weighted GPA Please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Will the 20 students who are magna cum laude with a 5.25 to 5.54 weighted GPA please stand at this time and be recognized. And will the 30 students who are summa cum laude with a grade point average minimum of 5.55 weighted GPA please stand at this time and be recognized. From the marching band to the show cards to the drama club, the fine arts are something that Corain High School values highly. These groups have given us hours of entertainment during our four years. While all senior members of the band, the orchestra, the chorus, the show cards, and the drama club, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Memories are precious and important, and the yearbook helps preserve them for years to come. This year's edition, entitled Remember When, captured the spirit and pride of our senior year. Will the yearbook staff, including our editor, Emily Wells, and advisor, Mrs. Erin Pennington, please stand and be recognized for all their hard work. It is my pleasure at this time to recognize the following seniors for their achievements in scouting. Will Jennifer Rawless, recipient of the Girl Scout Gold Award, please stand? And will the following Eagle Scouts also stand to be recognized? Nigel Buckley, John Michael Frischman, Alexander Hackey, Jonah Lewis, Matthew Metzner, Marcus Price II, Christopher Ryu, Tyler Stodigal, and Joel Wardeman. At Colerain, perfect attendance is measured by no absences, no tardies, and no early dismissals. The following students have not missed a day of school at Colerain in four years. Please join me in congratulating Douglas Friedhoff and Henry Wessels. We would now like to recognize all of our students who will be serving our country. We have confirmation that the following students will serve our country in the armed services. Please hold your applause until they all are called. United States Army, Stephen Brown, Daniel Snyder, and Wyatt Griffith. Army National Guard, Gage Elliott, Jagger Huck, Shane Schumann, Victor Tiley, and Joel Wardeman. 
United States Navy, Wasser Oldsis and Jacob Fields, United States Marines, Rodney Allen, Noah Davis, Charles Elby, Tia Howell, Jacob Ronick, Heidi Malone, Ryan Manning, Christopher Smith, Justice Steinman, and Zachary Stockman. Thank you for your service. Finally, I am pleased to announce the results of our awards and scholarships that, have, that this class has earned. As of May 1st, 131 Corain students has received $7,403,000 in academic and athletic scholarship awards. At this time, Mr. Reynolds will give the challenge to the class of 2015. When I'm finished up here, uh, the uh, Sumas will, will have their address to you. Members of the class of 2015, my time as your administrator, your grade level administrator, has been brief, so my remarks also will be brief. I have two things to share with you tonight. The first is shortest and probably most important, and that is thank you and congratulations. Thank you for having shared your senior year with me. This has been a year of ups and downs, of triumphs and tragedies, and you let me be a part of that. And for that, I am grateful. And congratulations. Congratulations to those who excelled in the classroom. Your hard work and self-discipline are the heart and soul of a great school. And I look forward to seeing what you will accomplish next. Congratulations to those who got involved who became part of a club, activity, team, or organization. You made our school better by your leadership and example. And for those of you who spent, it seemed like the entire year in my office, and you know who you are, I am most proud of you. Because you and I know how long this road has been and how often it seemed that this day would never come. And yet here you are, ready to cross this stage. So to one and all, congratulations and well done. Second, it is a tradition that the grade level principal give a challenge. Now, as many of you in the audience know, I can get a little loud sometimes. Whether it's the sidelines of a football game, when dismissing sea lunch, or trying to clear the building at the end of the school day. And again, you know who you are. Uh, my volume goes up a little bit. One of the other times I get loud is when a field trip leaves campus. Now parents, the way this works is that when a field trip leaves, we gather all the students in the front lobby and the buses roll up in front and we begin loading with the first bus and then the second and so on. Well. What I like to do, my tradition, is to have a few words with the students before they leave the campus. So when the first bus is filled, I go up and I knock on the door. Now I've been doing this for years, and it still amazes me that the driver actually opens the door. I take, climb up the, first, the, the three steps, I look down the aisle. Now if you've ever gotten onto a bus with teenagers, the first thing that happens is anybody in the last two rows immediately ducks down and hides behind the seat in front of them. Everybody else is talking and kind of holding forth, so I kind of get a little bit loud to get their attention. I raise my voice and I say, listen up. In a few minutes, you will leave this campus. For the next few hours, you are ambassadors for Colerain High School. People who don't know us or our school will learn about us based on how you walk, talk, act, and handle yourselves. 
it is my expectation that you will do so in a manner that brings honor to yourself, your families, your community, and your school. Is that clear? Well, now, those that are still breathing will generally at that time say, yes, sure, anything, Mr. Reynolds, just stop yelling at us. Then I thank the driver, climb off the bus, and go to the next one. And again, it amazes me that the bus driver doesn't get on the radio and say, he's coming, don't open the door. <laughs> Class of 2015, my challenge to you tonight is this. In a few minutes, you will walk across the stage, receive a diploma, and leave this campus. And not just for the next few hours, but for the rest of your lives, you will be ambassadors for Coleraine High School. People you meet in college, the military, in the workplace, in towns and cities across this country who do not know us and do not know our school will learn about us from you. And they will know us by how you walk, talk, act, and live your lives. It is not just my challenge or my expectation, but it is my belief that you will do so in a way that brings honor to yourselves, your families, your community, and our school. And I'm pretty sure that's clear to all of you. Class of 2015, on behalf of all of us here, thank you for four wonderful years. Good luck, God bless you, and go Cards! At this time, I would like to recognize our special students on stage. I would like to introduce to you our summa cum laude graduates. I will introduce to you, I will introduce them, excuse me, in alphabetical order. Please hold your applause until the end. Please stand, students, when I call your name. Brandon Berkemeyer is the son of Steve and Diane Berkemeyer. Brandon plans to attend the University of Cincinnati to study biomedical studies. Caitlin Bigner is the daughter of Brian and Jamie Bigner. Caitlin plans on attending the University of Cincinnati and major in exercise and movement science. Katie Carcaterra is the daughter of Frank and Jean Carcaterra. Katie will attend the Ohio State University to study nursing in the fall. Andrea Clark is the daughter of Dave and Julie Clark. Andrea will attend the University of Cincinnati and major in architectural engineering. Jacob Cormican is the son of Walt and Shannon Cormican. Jacob is planning on attending the University of Cincinnati to study business. Erin Eads is the daughter of Tammy Eads. Erin will attend the University of Kentucky in the fall to major in pharmacy. Kimberly Estison is the daughter of Dan and Marlene Estison. Kimberly will attend Wittenberg University in the fall. Erin Flagg is the daughter of Ron and Joni Flagg. Erin will attend University of Cincinnati, majoring in mechanical engineering. Brandon Gilbert is the son of Mark and Tia Gilbert. Brandon will attend the University of Cincinnati and major in business. Samantha Goble is the daughter of Sue and Dan Goble. Samantha will study operation management in the School of Business at the University of Cincinnati in the fall. Naomi Hampton is the daughter of Dennis and Annette Hampton. Naomi will attend Auburn University and major in animal sciences and mathematics. Zachary Hullinger is the son of Rob and Kelly Hullinger. Zach will attend the University of Cincinnati, majoring in business. Laura Janikiewski is the daughter of Nick and Debbie Janikiewski. Laura will attend the Ohio State University to study neuroscience. Jonah Lewis is the son of Wes and Monica Lewis. Jonah will attend the University of Cincinnati, majoring in accounting. Trisha Ludicky is the daughter of Rick and Diane Ludicky. Trisha will major in statistics at either the University of South Carolina or Miami University. Stephanie Lutz is the daughter of Dale and Sherry Lutz. Stephanie plans on attending Miami University to major in marketing this fall. 
Bailey McConnell is the daughter of Joelle McConnell and Steve McConnell. Bailey will attend Purdue University and major in engineering. Coyote Sundays Miners Rios is the daughter of Jeff Miners and Salito Rios. Coyote will attend Northwestern University to study communications. Brandon Morrow is the son of David and Lisa Morrow. Brandon will attend the University of Cincinnati in the fall. Chris Ryu is the son of Michael and Kimberly Ryu. Chris will attend the University of Illinois and major in engineering. Emily Schneider is the daughter of William and Julia Schneider. Emily will study mechanical engineering at the University of Cincinnati. Jacqueline Sado is the daughter of Jim and Cindy Sado. Jacqueline will study ballet at CCM and health sciences at the University of Cincinnati in the fall. Abigail Steinbeck is the daughter of Jim and Michelle Steinbeck. Abigail will attend Taylor University and major in marketing. Benjamin Taphorn is the son of Richard and Lisa Taphorn. Benjamin will attend the University of Cincinnati in the fall to study chemical engineering. Noah Tesort is the son of Matthew and Angela Tesort. Noah will attend Case Western University, majoring in material science and engineering. Haley Tobler is the daughter of Jack and Denise Tobler. Haley will be attending the University of Cincinnati to major in zoology. Hannah Tobler is the daughter of Jack and Denise Tobler. Hannah will attend Northern Kentucky University to major in biology and competes in Division I cross country and track. Jennifer Wallace is the daughter of James and Sonia Wallace. Jennifer will attend Miami University majoring in zoology. Henry Wessels is the son of Rick and Rhonda Wessels. Henry, Henry excuse me, will attend the University of Dayton, majoring in general engineering. Jarrett Ziegler is the son of William and Denise Ziegler. Jarrett will attend the University of Cincinnati, majoring in graphic design. Please join me in a big round of applause for the class of 2015 summa cum laude. Thank you. At this time, they will come to address the class of 2015. One second, one measly, insignificant second. Not much may come to your mind when you think of one second in time. We often fail to realize the importance of one second. A snap of the fingers, a blink of the eye, a moment in thought, that is a second. The thought of accomplishing anything in that time frame may seem impossible. So I must admit that it is understandable to question the significance of that tiny unit of time. However, the truth is far different than what we would expect. Countless important and amazing events can occur in the time it takes one second to pass. These moments vary and that they can be both wonderful and tragic. In one second, we can take our first step towards our destination. We can inhale and exhale to relax. We can finally make that life-altering decision or we can have a brilliant idea that changes the world. We can fall in love or lose someone that we love forever. We can leap or fall, succeed or fail. The possibilities are endless, and each second says a lot about each of our stories. They define our greatest moments and our darkest hours. They define the beginning and the end of everything. They measure our most fantastic feats and our most unforgettable memories. So I ask our graduating class of 2015 to remember the second. Never waste a single second in the many in your valuable life. Each holds a magnificent amount of potential that we must all use to the fullest. Everything that we have ever done and ever will do started with the minuscule second. So let us move forward into an optimistic and wonderfully unpredictable future, starting with one second. Thank you.
There are 21,724,798 minutes left in your life, not including the eight hours of sleep that none of us get. I know, I'm a nerd, I'm gonna let it out, so. Um, so what is the use of just one minute? Um, in our fast-paced lives, a minute is much more valuable than you think. My fellow procrastinators out there know that a minute is the difference between a zero and 100 on Mr. Cooney's vocab. Sorry, Mr. Cooney. <laughs> uh, it takes a minute to give a speech just like this. But a minute can and should be used to take a risk, to take the next step. It takes just a minute to ask a question in calculus. Who cares what the others think when you understand it? It takes just a minute to say hi to the girl you like in the halls rather than making that awkward eye contact. It takes just a minute to call your mom from your college or new career and tell her thank you for getting me this far. It takes just a minute to set a goal for yourself, any goal to get you motivated. It takes just a minute to set a plan to meet your goals, though it may take another to force yourself to do so. It takes just a minute to decide to take the next step to not be content with ordinary. It takes a minute just to realize your failures and look to rise above them. When it comes to this next chapter in your life, yes, I'll say that cliche line that high school is just a stepping stone in life. Quit hitting snooze and take advantage of the minutes you've been granted. I leave you with a quote by my idol, Morgan Freeman. If you lay down, people will step over you. But if you keep scrambling, if you keep going, someone will always, always give you a hand, always. But if you, you gotta keep dancing, you gotta keep your feet moving. So with 21,724,797 minutes left, what will you make of them? Thank you. Depending on your opinion, an hour can seem very short or very long. Adding up the minutes can seem like an eternity, as I'm sure my friends with the last names W through Z all the way in the back can tell you, and I'm sure my dad can tell you after driving out here tonight in the traffic. Yet looking back at our time at Coleraine gives us a different perspective. Consider an hourglass in which everything that flows from the top adds to the pile on the bottom. In our high school years, our memories and cherished times are as plentiful and countless as the fallen grains of sand, and they seem to slip by just as fast. All of our experiences thus far have collected on the bottom, and they contribute to who we are today. I want you to know, class of 15, that although the top of our hourglass is a little less full, it's not becoming empty, but becoming clearer for us to see through. With every passing hour behind us, we are able to apply our learned future, our learned wisdom, and better navigate our futures. So, while we continue on after high school, like Hamlet put it, as poor players strutting and fretting our hour upon the stage, I challenge all of us to master our time and to make it signify something. I challenge us all to measure each grain of sand with importance and to make each one of our hours our finest hour. Eighty-six thousand four hundred seconds, one thousand four hundred forty minutes, twenty-four hours, one day. I want you to think about what the phrase "carpe diem" means. Seize the day, every day. You have the power to make your lives extraordinary. Today is the day we start to make our mark. As we step into the next phase of our lives, each day we make a difference not only to ourselves, but to the world around us. By reaching this day, our graduation day, we have proved to ourselves that these last four years of our lives were worth it. Those days ending in all-nighters spent writing English essays, that one week of insanity put aside to produce an amazing play. Looking back, all the memories were well worth it and were accomplished day by day. Today is our goodbye to Coleraine, and our day to put on our grown-up shoes and greet the world of higher education, careers, and military service. But let's not be so eager to say goodbye to Coleraine just yet. We want to be able to look back to this exact day and remember the pride and excitement we felt. This is a day worth remembering. And now, for the first time in a while, we can all breathe a sigh of relief. Four years of friendship, laughter, and hard work have led us to this day, and only great things await us from here on out. Israel Noor Ayavor once said, yesterday was the last day on the calendar of the past. Tomorrow will be the first day on the calendar of the future. 
Today is both the first and the last day of the present. So, fellow graduates, I challenge you to use your days well. Until this point, each of us have shared the same cardinal name, but now must embark on a unique future of our own. The weeks to come seem hazy and frightful because being an adult is something that we're only beginning to understand. However, while the future may seem daunting, we must realize that we have already ascended mountains in a week's time. Through Spirit Weeks, we have encouraged and motivated Cardinal athletes to victories. Through week-long fundraisers, we have fought diseases and aided efforts globally. And through a week of testing, we have conquered the OGT. Finally, in this very week, we have each prepared and made it to walk across this stage. Every week is a mountain in itself, and in each trek, we must use what we have learned to reach the mountain's peak. With each mountain climbed, we will have a new perspective on ourselves and our capabilities. The future weeks to come are both exciting and filled with uncertainty. But when we take it one week at a time, each challenge leads us to understand that we are bolder and more resilient than we could have ever believed. The great thing about life is that as we go to college or the military or wherever, there is no such thing as staying still. With each week, we are changing and are given the opportunity to better ourselves. And so I challenge everyone to spend their present and future weeks walking deliberately. With constant awareness that we are in control of our success, we can ensure that when we actually reach the mountain's peak, we will be able to look around us and see a view worth remembering. How did it get so late so soon? It's night before it's afternoon. December is here before it's June. My goodness, how the time has flown. How did it get so late so soon? By Dr. Seuss. Ten months ago, we walked into school thinking this is our last first day of, of school. Eight months ago, it was our last homecoming. Less than a month ago, it was our last day of high school. How did it get so late so soon? Months add up quickly, but feel even quicker. A lot of important things happen in a month, yet all I can think of is paying the Netflix subscription and monthly data usage. So instead, I'm going to talk about the month we are graduating. May's birthstone is an emerald, which is emblematic of love and success. And we all have been successful the past 48 months to get to this moment. May itself symbolizes birth, renewal, and a fresh start. This is the beginning of our fresh start. It is our time to become grown-ups now. It is our time to mature into the people we want to be. Make a point in the coming months to make each month better than the last. Laugh often and spend time with the people you love. Make every month count. Now this is a speech all about how our years after high school should shape out. And I'd like to take a moment, just sit right there. I'll tell you all about our years after Corrine, so just prepare. When we look back 10 years from now, we don't want to think those are my glory days or I wish I could go back. These past four years are something that we should cherish. Meeting and making new friends our freshman year, conquering the OGT sophomore year, the ASVAB test junior year, and enjoying prom before finishing out our senior years. Up to this point, these four years have been the happiest of our lives, but they shouldn't remain that way. Don't let the end of these four years of high school be a sad and depressing moment. We are now free to do as we wish. We have made our first real adult decisions by choosing how our years after high school will look like. Some of us are staying in our own backyard and going to UC. Some are joining the military, and some are for going college and going directly into the job field. From this point forward, our lives are up to us, and they should be going nowhere but up. Never let a moment pass that could potentially be amazing. Each new year as it comes should be the best that has happened yet. We now have the ability to do as we please. 
So please do what will make you happy and on the path to a more fulfilling life. Now, I'm going to ask each and every one of you to turn around and look at the doors behind you, the ones we recently entered. Picture, <laughs> picture what your life will be like once we walk back out those doors and leave this building. I want you all to live the rest of your lives the way that you'll be exiting the parking lot, cruising through it and not slowing down. Keep living your lives in a fun and exciting way so that each day is better than the last, so each month is better than the last, and each year is better than the last. Ten years from now, we don't want to be looking back on our glory days, but actually be living in them. The students that came to the podium before me spoke on specific finite units of time, but the allotment of time that we are each given to live is undefined. And like the duration of a lifetime, what can be accomplished in a lifetime is also undefined. When I first began writing this speech, I contemplated talking about the goals and achievements others have been able to accomplish in their lives. But then I realized that that would not amount to anything because none of those people would have been sitting in front of me listening to this speech. Each and every one of us has a unique set of skills far different from anyone else. And with each unique set of skills comes a, a specific set of goals that can be acquired through these skills. When each of you set forth in achieving your goals, I encourage you to adopt an attitude like C.S. Lewis describes. But when a thing has to be attempted, one must never think about possibility or impossibility. It is wonderful what you can do when you have to. The only fatal thing to do is to sit down content with anything less than perfection. The beautiful thing about life is that every single one of us has the opportunity to make a difference, small or big, good or bad. When we make a difference in society, it is up to us. And we need to accept the responsibility that we have this opportunity. I now ask you, what will you choose to achieve in your lifetime? What impact will your life have on the ones around you? How will your life impact the world? How will your legacy be defined? We are. At this time, I am honored, honored excuse me, to introduce to you our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Andrew Jackson. <laughs> Dr. Jackson, it gives me great pleasure to present to you the 449 members of the Coleraine High School Class of 2015. Thank you. On behalf of the Northwest Local School District, I wish to congratulate the graduating class of 2015. Dr. Turney, the credentials of the candidates presented here tonight have been reviewed. The candidates are entitled to the diplomas they will receive from Colbrain High School. Please present the candidates. During the presentation of students, I ask for your cooperation. Advisors will signal the appropriate time to applaud by saying the words, thank you, at the end of their list of graduates in their advisory. It is imperative that you do not shout or use noisemakers as we introduce the members of the class so that all parents and friends may hear all names as they read the students' names. I also ask that you do not come out on the seating area. Anyone disrupting the ceremony will be asked to leave immediately. If your family or guests are identified as being disruptive during the graduation ceremony, your graduate will not receive their diploma tonight and they will be required to perform 25 hours of community service at Coleraine High School to receive their diploma. All community service must be completed by July 3rd, 2015 in order to receive a 2015 diploma and transcripts. Students who need to complete this service will be required to report to Mr. Reynolds. After the recessional, the graduates are to report to the lobby to return their gowns. They will be given a card verifying their, their gown return. This will allow them to immediately collect their diploma. This entire process 
shall conclude at approximately 10 o'clock p.m. If you would like to take additional pictures of your graduate with their cap and gown and diploma, you may do so right after the ceremony. Then have your student return to the lobby to be sure they turn in their gown and collect their diploma. We will begin by presenting the diplomas to the senior seated on stage. Brandon Robert Berkemeyer. Caitlin Elizabeth Bigner. Katie Maria Carcaterra. Andrea Jean Clark. Jacob Trevor Cormacon. Aaron Elaine Eads. Kimberly Grace Esteson. Aaron Jennifer Flagg. Brandon Anthony Gilbert. Samantha Renee Goble. Naomi Taylor Hampton. Zachary Robert Hollinger. Laura Nicole Yanikieski. Jonah Ray Lewis. Trisha Nicole Ludicky. Stephanie Elizabeth Lutz. Bailey Sue McConnell. Coyote Sundance Miners Rios. Brandon David Morrow. Christopher Michael Ryu. Emily Marie Schneider. Jacqueline Sue Sido. Abigail Grace Steinbeck. Benjamin Lewis Taphorn. Noah Mason Tesort. Haley Marlise Tobler. Hannah Marie Tobler. Jennifer Shannon Wallace. Henry Cole Wessels. Jarrett William Ziegler. Thank you. Please give them a round of applause. Will the senior class officers and student senate members please stand to receive your diplomas. Brittany Nicole Hayes, cum laude. Savannah Justine Carroll, magna cum laude. Stephanie Marie Kahn, cum laude. Haley Sophia Curtis. Emily Kirsten Glassmeyer, magna cum laude. Deasia Lene Jackson, cum laude. Martel Lorray Johnson, cum laude. Caleb Ryan Kinnebrew, cum laude. Grace Renee Krumpak, magna cum laude. Kelly Elizabeth Markle, cum laude. Samantha Ray McDaniel, cum laude. Pamela Ann McDermott, cum laude. Rebecca Malia Rogers. 
Isa to Wade. Emily Christine Wells, cum laude. Thank you. Devin Michelle Anderson, magna cum laude. Teresa Brianna Andrews. Ethan Cole Barnett, cum laude. Caleb Lazarus Kemp, cum laude. Ryan Allen Mulvaney, magna cum laude. Deanna Stojanowska, cum laude. Thank you. Thank you. Damon Leroy Adams. John Olafemi Adenarin. Michaela Mahogany Albright. Jeanne Monique Anderson. John D. William Anslinger. Shire Monet Simone Anthony Sessions. Leanne Cassidy Armbruster. Stephen Riley Athan. Kendra Halima Bailey. Thank you. Austin Michael Baker. Summer Lynn Ballard. Aaron Lee Bamberger, magna cum laude. Samantha Lee Banuelos. Alexis Jordan Bass. Alexis Austin Bauman, cum laude. Madison Christina Baumgartner, cum laude. Rashida Olivia Beatty. Caitlin Nicole Beck, cum laude. Ryan David Becker. Brittany Lynn Beebe. Ashley Nicole Benedict Cum Laude. Haley Daniel Bishop. Pedro Nelson Blanco. Kelsey Lynn Blauser, cum laude. Jukaya Renee Bledsoe. Elizabeth Lee Blessing. Kyle Matthew Block. Jordan Nicole Buskin, cum laude. Julie Lee Bolden, magna cum laude. Thank you. Glenn Tyrone Bomar. Gabrielle Marie Bombaris, cum laude. Matthew, Bradley Matthew Booth. Sarah Marie Boyer. Rosalita Marie Brady. 
Joseph Paul Brinker, Laura Raylin Brown, Richard Kenneth Brown IV, Stephen Lee Brown, Taylor Nicole Brown Cum Laude, Nigel Thomas Buckley Cum Laude, Justin Adam Burton, Brianna Monique Bush. Thank you. Kennedy Sue Butler. Elijah Menor Cannell. Michelle Rose Kappel. Jenna Marie Caproni Cum Laude. Michaela Ann Chess Cum Laude. Selena Kirsten Chitwood. Jeffrey Lynn Christian Jr. Anthony Stephen Clark. Clayton James Kobe. Haley Michelle Kobe Cum Laude. Sydney Marie Cagozo. Charlinda Brianna Benet Colbert. Demetrius Lewis Grant Colbert. Thank you. Allison Grace Cooper, cum laude. Richard Anthony Cotton. Joshua Dale Craig. Joshua Ray Daniels, cum laude. Emily Ann Darty. Casey Marie Davis. Chelsea Angela Davis, cum laude. Noah Quinn Davis. Samuel Joseph Delatori. Lamar Delton Jr. Jordan Marie Denton. Jordan Ray DeSalvo. Thank you. Brandon Thomas DeSello. Samantha Marie Donnelly. Sean Anthony Dowers. Hannah Nicole Dries. Nathan Alexander Dring. Kirsten Nicole Drinketh. Brianna Lynn Dunham. Rebecca Suzanne Duquette. Sheridan Kimberly Easterling. Alexis Marie Easton. Cartney Keeley Eckes. 
Charles Andrew Elby. Jenna Lee Elby. Gage Andrew Elliott. Thank you. Kylie Michelle England. Robert William Enneking. Colton Michael Esslinger. Katie Marie Estenson, cum laude. Kalia Deshay Elaine Eubanks. Sarah Elizabeth Evans. Walter Alfonso Evans. Madison Marie Farley. Caitlin Gabrielle Farrell. Skylar Claire Fair Himmerly. Courtney Renee Faring. Mayana Samaria Rosemarie Ferguson. Molly Elizabeth Farrell, cum laude. Leah Colleen Foki, cum laude. Corey Anderson Foster. Edward Frank Friesen. Douglas Scott Friedhoff, magna cum laude. J.L. Francis Frierson. John Michael Frischman. Stephanie Rose Franck. Kasim Jabbar Gaines. Megan Nicole Garrison, magna cum laude. Sophia Hernandez Geiler, cum laude. Thank you. Devin Tyler Gillum. Cody Allen Glasgow. Kyle Douglas Graff, cum laude. Megan Elise Graff, cum laude. Dallas Christopher Grant. Tiffany Marie Gray. McCartney Lynn Greer, cum laude. Wyatt John Griffith. Demetrius A. Grimes, Jr. Rachel Nicole Grubbs. Evan Bradley Hale, magna cum laude. Corey Ryan Haynes. Janice Lynette Hambrick. Rachel Teresa Marie Hambrick. Leah Mackenzie Hammer, magna cum laude. Brendan Michael Hammond. Thomas Howard Hancock. Zachary Walter Hanna, cum laude. Eldrick Latroy Harrell, Jr. Michaela Natakaris Harris. Shayla Marie Harris. Daniel Hunter Lucas Harsh. Thank you.
Alexander J. Hatke, cum laude. Will Joseph Hausler, cum laude. Gabriella Summer Hendricks. Carly Ann Hen. Spencer Bradley Hen. Devin Marie Hensler, magna cum laude. Hannah Joe Herbst. Danielle Faith Hearth, cum laude. Genesis Duval Hillard, cum laude. Shane William Hinchcliffe. Karan Rabadon Heisel. Lexi Marie Hodge, cum laude. Joseph William Hollis. Connor James Holt. Ray Lynn Marie Hopkins. Tia Taylor Howell. Jacob Robert Ronick. Thank you. Jagger Jeffrey Huck. Maria Alexandra Hulls, cum laude. Courtney Michelle Holsey. Mitchell William Hunter. Tiffany Ann Hurst. Monica Ashley Huseman. Katie Marie Hutchinson. Andrew Lee Hutzler, cum laude. Fertez Darnell Jackson. Cheyenne Marie Jackson. Calvin Thomas Jeffries, Jr. Maxwell Jennings, III. Joshua Matthew Jester. Hannah Renee Jerger. Thank you. Brianna Christine Johnson. Jennifer Lee Johnson, cum laude. Tristan Bryce Johnson. Jamasia Starr Jones. Niera Ayana Jones. Roche Cornisha Jones. Tatiana Lynn Jordan. Samantha Ann Judd. Kelsey Nicole Cakey, magna cum laude. Michael Anthony Cardi, cum laude. Freddie Kendall III, cum laude. Brian Christopher Canelli. Cameron Rashawn Kinnebrew. Alex Daniel King. Vincent Earl King II. Paul James Kinney. Imani Alea Kitchen. 
Lindsay Joan Cook, cum laude. Caitlin Nicole Kohler, cum laude. William Charles Kuntz, Jr. Thank you. Andrew David Kreckler. Joel Edward Kramer. Cecilia Augusta Kruger. Tiffany Marie Krutzkamp. Bradley William Kunkel. Caitlin Elizabeth Lamb. Anthony Dwayne Lane. Rebecca Jean Lane Cum Laude. Lauren Minnie Lloyd. Desiree Zakia Love. Courtney Ann Loveless. Alexandra May Lucas. Courtney Brianne Lumpkin. Thank you. Kelsey Ann McKendrick. Heidi Drusilla Malone. Jaylin Kishore Mann. Ryan Madalena Manning. Maisa Renee Mapp. Sean Michael Marquois. Tyler John Marshall Cum Laude. Samuel August Martini. Sarah Lee Veronica Mativia Magna Cum Laude. Mike Deshawn Maison. Brandon Heath. McBride, Chloe Lynn McCullough, Zachary Stephen McKinley, Jacob Bernard Meyerjohn. Thank you. Matthew James Metzner. Trey Anthony Middendorf. Jenna Rose Miller, cum laude. Morel Antonio Miller, Jr. Karaje Peter Million. Dawn Marie Rose Mills. Meredith Ann Mitchell, cum laude. Todd Robert Momberg II, cum laude. Rebecca Lynn Mormon. Nicholas Miles Morris. Catherine Ann Mortimer Cum Laude. 
Asia Marie Morton Cum Laude. Colette Francis Muller Cum Laude. Donovan Michael Murray. Jacob James Murray. Megan Lynn Muthiani. Abdu Kadre Ndao, cum laude. Brandon Tyler Neely. Caleb Wayne Newhouse, cum laude. Thank you. Alexander Luke Wen. Devin Faith Nix. Brittany Ann Newland. Ryan Christopher Nordman. Emily Beth Novak Cum Laude. Stephanie Marie O'Hara, cum laude. Joseph Richard O'Toole. Tyler David Oder. Shana Lee Ayler. Andrew Robert Ostertag. Jacob Tyler Adi. Mame Wasser U Sis. Terry Lynn Overall. Kenneth Robert Owens. Devin Lloyd Paddock. Rebecca Lynn Palmer. Shamil Roshana Parker. Demisha Tierra Parks. Justin Daniel Peel. Sarah Michelle Perry Cum Laude. Sierra Cherise Phillips. Tyler David Pister Cum Laude. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Brian Lewis Pot Magna Cum Laude. Austin John Powers, cum laude. Marcus Montgomery Price, magna cum laude. Micah James Price. Leah Caitlin Priesman. Matthew David Radcliffe. Jerome Isaac Ransom. Alex Paul Rance. Savannah Jane Rance, cum laude. Lindsay Marie Reinhold. Karsten Dale Reuter. Amber Christine Richter. Casey Renee Briga, magna cum laude. Jacob Edward Rigby. Drew Anthony Riser. Thank you.
Tyler John Robbins. Phoenix Taylor Robinson Wesley. Brianna Lynn Rogers. Elias Victor Rosell Cum Laude. Jalen Amir Rosser. Demetrius Laron Ruff. William Richard Russo. Maxwell Kenneth Sanders Cum Laude. Cassandra Michelle Sanderson. Robert Lee Sargent Jr. Deshaun James Sarley. Catherine Jean Scher. Jacob Timothy Shens. Tabitha Roma Schmey. Amber Nicole Schmier. Joseph Richard Schneider. Jenna Lorraine Schnoor. Emily Laura Shaneling. Shane Eugene Schumann. Francesca Renee Schutte Cum Laude. Nolan J. Schwabel. Blake E. Scott. Thank you. Rajay Nakia Selden. Cody Matthew Sita Cum Laude. Tere Sabri Settles. Serene and Yuga Say. Christopher Allen Shelton. Daniel Sean Sherbert. Brooke Nichelle Sherman. Celeste Elizabeth Sherman, cum laude. Anasia Allura Shinholster. Autumn Nicole Shoulders. Kayla Marie Seiler. Eris Rael Sims. Kylie Robert Singler. Brianna Nicole Singleton. Cassidy Kramer Smith, cum laude. Christopher Richard Smith. Justin Christopher Smith. Kyle Edward Smith. Sesamelia Lawrence Smith. Demetrius Nathaniel Snow. Daniel Kane Snyder. Olivia Mary Spampanado, cum laude. Nicholas Aaron Spalding Jr. Marcus Theodore Springer, magna cum laude. Thank you. Tyler Joseph Sedagel. Madeline Rose Stegmuir. Justin Blake Lee Steinman. Zachary Thomas Stockelman. Kendall Rashad Amor Strader. Catherine Grace Schultz, cum laude. 
Hunter Logan Suggs, Evan Joseph Tabor, cum laude, Birman Talman, Tristan Melanie Chisler, cum laude, Victor Lee Tiley, Morgan Marie Thomas, Corey Anthony Trader, Taylor Beth Tucker Cum Laude, Darius Rakeem Turner, David Matthew Turner, Eric James Turner Cum Laude, Joseph Martin Turner, Malik, Malik Davon Turner, Unica Justice Tyman, Alex Linville Vanover, Josephine Rose Vaughn, Serena Catherine Veneman, Andrew David Vogeli, Paige Nicole Voline, thank you. Stephanie Adrian Wagner, magna cum laude. Andrew Isaac Walker, Andrew David Ward, Ashley Marie Ware, Aubrey Grace Warman, Ryan Scott Weber, Meredith Elaine Weiss, Blake Edward Wendelkin, Mallory Elizabeth Weneman, cum laude, Alexander Leonard Wordman, Logan William West, Lauren Mackenzie Westerbeck, cum laude, Ashley Renee Wetterick, Emily Jing Ho Huida, magna cum laude, Christopher George Wharton, Jr. Alec Logan Wickham, cum laude. Jacqueline Marie Weissman, cum laude. Olivia Susan Wilcher. Alexis Leanne Wilt. Courtney Lee Wilkins, cum laude. Thank you. Patrice Marie Williams, cum laude. Maine LaShawn Judah Williams. Rachel Simone Williams. Kalina Eleni Wilson. Michaela Janae Wilson. Brian Michael Wimmer. Logan Garrett Winfield. Jessica Marche Winston, cum laude. 
Austin James Winters, cum laude. Allison Kaylee Wellert, cum laude. Julia Marie Wusty, cum laude. Joel Christopher Werderman. Dejaya Therese Weish. Rebecca Emily Yeary. Jemiah Donise Yet, cum laude. Haley Marie Young. And Easter Brandessa Zinvelli. Thank you. Parents, friends, and honored guests, I present to you the class of 2015 proud graduates of Coleraine High School. As I stated earlier, thank you, thank you. Please be seated. As I stated earlier, we have, we currently have students who are representing us at the regional track meet. First of all, I would like to recognize the two young ladies on stage who did make it in time. Uh, first of all, that is Laura Janikiewski. She represented us this evening in Dayton and also Hannah Tobler. She represented us as well this evening. Our two young men are rushing and putting on their caps and gown as we speak, as they just arrived from again, representing Coleraine High School, and we know they made us proud. So at this time, I would like to acknowledge our two graduates. First, may I present to you Rodney Alante Allen. And here he comes. Next, Jordan Isaiah Asbury, cum laude. Would the graduates please rise? As superintendent of the Northwest Local School District, I hereby declare the senior class of Colbrine High School as graduated. The students may move their tassels to the right side. <laughs> 